Since taking office in 2000, Mayor Michael B. Coleman has built Columbus's reputation as being one of the best cities in the nation to live in. Whether you've lived here for years or you're new to the area, you can't help but notice substantial progress. Mayor, welcome to Out and About Columbus, and thank you so much for taking the time to talk with us today. Great to be here. Great to talk to you about our great city and downtown. We've made a lot of progress over the years. Well, let's talk about the growth because Columbus is booming. The population keeps growing. In fact, it's one of the fastest growing cities in the Midwest. What do you plan to do to keep that growth moving forward? Well, you know, I always say that a city that stays the same falls behind. That's a motto I have and that we live by in City Hall. And so we always have to continue to change, continue to improve, never be satisfied with where we are. And as long as we reach for higher heights, have uh, great visions, and work hard to get there, we'll reach there and we'll continue to improve, continue to grow, and continue to prosper. What do you plan to do to keep Columbus moving progressively forward? Well, we're going to uh, continue to work on our neighborhoods make them wonderful places to be, invest in, in neighborhoods that need investment, substantial investment. We're going to continue to grow our downtown. We're going to continue to create jobs and opportunities in our city. Uh, work hard to make our, continue to make our city safe. Uh, we're the safest big city in Ohio uh, and among the safest big cities in the nation. And uh, do all those things that make the city of Columbus a quality place to live, work, and raise a family. One of the top priorities for the city has been neighborhood improvements and revitalization. Can you talk about some of the projects that you've done to achieve that and maybe give us some examples of where that has been a success? Well, let me start with the King Lincoln District. Uh, King Lincoln District is an area that used to be 63,000 people. Uh, now it's 16,000 people. And uh, we have worked hard to try to bring it back, provide for new investment. Uh, we just secured a $30 million grant from the federal government. Uh, we're matching that with a $24 million uh, effort from the city of Columbus to redo its infrastructure. Uh, there's new housing, new opportunities. You have the Lincoln Theater. Uh, just uh, last week, we opened the Long Street Bridge and the Cultural Wall, reconnecting the Near East Side with the rest of the city. Then we move to uh, the south side of Columbus. The south side of Columbus, uh, the parts of the south side uh, have been neglected over the years. And so we stepped in in a big way uh, where we're building new homes, renovating, renovating homes, uh, provided for a new health care center called uh, John Maloney Health Care Center. It's a promise I made. We completed that promise. We opened that up last year. Uh, now we have a Reeb Elementary, which will be a community center. Uh, that the city invested in and the private sector has come forward too. So we're getting private investment now in an area that historically has not received private investment. It too has new infrastructure. Uh, there's still work to do. Uh, the South Side will have uh, what's called the, the Columbus Blueprint Program where we'll be taking uh, formerly vacant and abandoned housing areas and turning them into parks for uh, to retain water uh, and uh, use them as a way to uh, for, uh, uh, provide for, for the greening of our city and, and water management. All these areas, you add them all up, it really makes Columbus a, a great place to be. Do you offer any um, incentives for businesses to come here and particularly maybe to the downtown area? We have seen rapid growth uh, when it comes to job opportunities. Uh, we have seen in the past uh, four or five years about 50, 60,000 new jobs in, in Columbus uh, and in Central Ohio. It's because we're being very aggressive about economic development and job growth. And why is that important? important? The reason job growth is important is really focused on the family. When one has a job and a good paying job, that's the best thing one could ha that could happen in, in a city. Uh, and with a family. You can buy a home, buy a car, send your kids to school, uh, and enjoy yourself and have a good quality of life. Uh, so good jobs in our city is what we're all about. What we expect by the year 2020 is to have 180,000 new jobs in the city of Columbus. Uh, we had some major job announcements just recently. 700 new jobs, ADS, um, 
Uh, actually, this past week, we had almost a thousand jobs uh, we announced uh, in the city of Columbus just in the past week or so. Uh, and I have a great anticipation and expectation that over the course of the summer, we'll have other major job announcements in all parts of the city. Downtown Columbus has grown dramatically residentially and commercially. Um, what do you plan to do to keep that growth um, with everybody, you know, the national focus being on urban living? What do you plan to do to help continue that growth in the downtown neighborhoods? In, in, in the year 2002, I uh, put a stake in the ground. I said, we're going to work to uh, create uh, thousands upon thousands of new housing units and residential units downtown. You go back to 2002, there was virtually none. And at 5 o'clock in the evening on the weekdays, uh, you could roll a bowling ball down the middle of Broad and High, and you wouldn't hit anybody because people were gone. I'd say it was 6 o'clock by six o'clock. Uh, and on the weekends, there was, uh, you could shout in the air and you'd see nothing, hear nothing but an echo. Nobody would shout back. You could say OH and no one would say IO. So I felt that the key to a thriving downtown, in my opinion, was and still is bringing people into the area. Uh, and so people thought I was absolutely crazy to propose downtown living as an option in Columbus. Uh, why would I do that? Well, again, I think it's because uh, markets, excitement, vibrancy follow people. It's all about people. So you create an environment where people want to live, and they'll live there, and all of the things will start to, ha will start to happen, focused on building parks downtown, uh, working with the private sector in some cases, uh, like the side a mile, AEP and the private sector put up half of the about fifty million dollars to create side a mile, and and the public sector, both state, county, and city, uh, picked up the other half of of uh, the side a mile and built new bridges, built new parks, uh, new stages for entertainment, uh, created an environment where people wanted to be. Uh, said that uh, if you live downtown, we, we're going to offer some limited tax abatement. And lo and behold, years later, uh, we have one of the best downtowns in the country. Uh, we have, uh, last weekend, for example, uh, uh, at the Jazz and Rib Fest, uh, I think we had about 425,000 people uh, downtown. At the same time, we had uh, the picnic at the Pops, thousands of more people. Uh, things were going on at the riverfront, uh, in the Bicentennial area, uh, in the South of Mile area. I mean, it was hopping. You know, I hate leaving the city during the summer because at any time, because so much is happening. You know, unfortunately, my job requires me to travel. And it's the worst thing about being mayor is leaving the city, because uh, I love the city so much. Uh, but when I do visit other cities and I compare us to other cities, at this point in time, we are a city that is str as strong, if not stronger, than any other city in the country. I'm proud of it. Thank you so much for taking the time with us once again. And you're doing a fantastic job. We love this city. Thank you. I'm glad you love it because I do too. <laughs>